This Taco's live broadcast is brought to you by Promo Flash email broadcasts from Promo Corner. An email broadcast from Promo Corner gets sent to Promo Corner's distributor database housed on promocorner.com and included in daily and weekly digest emails. Flyers are customizable and end-user safe versions can be easily forwarded to clients or posted to your social media accounts. Track your results with real-time analytics. Contact sales at promocorner.com today to get started. Jeff, look, we already have our guest here, Megan Hamlin, who is here from Southern Branding. Megan, Hello. you are so gracious to spend some time with us. And, and rumor has it that this is a family-owned business. You and your yep. husband are co-owners. And Jeff and I have decided to rebrand you as the director of all epic shit at Southern Branding. Is that okay? I love it. Perfect. I yes. love it. I Jeff, like by the way, what are you doing? What are you holding? What's going on over there? Well, okay, by the way, the reason why I started with that is we were talking about using that word and and then we go, hey, we're recording live with no editing. And I just go, oh, you know, and I <laughs> normally don't use that word either, but we do. And Megan, hey, show what you have and then I'm going to talk about my guest. What? So there we go. <laughs> okay, yeah. So She's got the go. BS button. The I B, love that. The PG. Uh, I didn't actually what? say it. So. Yeah, there yeah. you go. You don't have to okay. say it. You can hit the red button. And... There you go. Okay, so look, this is a little bit different show because uh, our fine friends over at Promo Corner or, or out of the country over doing some amazing uh, relief efforts, things, things that they're doing over in Puerto Rico, I'm not sure, but uh, Brandon gave us control of the show. We're sending this over to him. It'll go up uh, as it normally would. And because it's just a wacky show and uh, Jay's at a trade show and um, I don't, I brought a special taco. This is uh, uh, right here and I have a special guest. It's a yummy fish taco. <laughs> Nice. And this is my, our special guest. I try to keep it from this new puppy we have, a rescue dog, uh, Doc City Kugel. And now, on with the show. On with the show. Tacos live. Oh, my God, we did it. That was a crazy intro. But truth be told, it's never about us, Jeff. Uh, no one would want to watch that show anyway. So the best part is, is that we do have amazing guests like, like Megan. So, Megan, back to you. I can't wait to share some of these things that are that are coming up on my slides. But before we do... I have to say I was pretty jacked up excited when I saw you surrounded by epic headwear because <laughs> guess what I've been doing for the last couple of days. Oh, so fabulous. I know. Yeah. Look at that. And this is heat applied. And I was able to do a little kind of accentuate on the side on this mesh back here. And so oh, as you can see from my hat, I'm at the uh, Shirt Lab event live here in Fort Worth. And today they're having an amazing event at the uh, Fort Worth Community Arts Center. And here's another one, a little camo piece. It's got mm -hmm. a flag that is a on the very side. cool shirt lab logo. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is fun. It's kind of like an atomic t-shirt. And so yeah, the logo is cool. I, I feel lucky and blessed to be able to kind of hang out with these apparel geeks um, because you know there are there are dysfunctional cousins, you know, they're the ones that are pulling the squeegees and hooping and you know the and threading the needles and and heat applying the garment. So a lot of the the folks at this show are are both promo distributors as well as um, apparel decorators and I'm not sure if that fits for you but but maybe talk to us a little bit about that since you know your love of of headwear you are you doing any decoration too well we don't we don't do the decoration in-house we okay. do contract a lot of our decoration we love coming up with concepts though like all of the different fabulous decoration that's available now mm -hmm. like what you were just showing uh, we love being able to come up with cool things that are different than your basic just embroidery you know, that yeah, everybody yeah. has seen and done. Like, Definitely. let's do fun and creative. I love that. And that's you, fun and creative, right there. Tagline, director of Epic Ship, fun, fun and, and creative. creative. Wow. See, sometimes things just come together. And that's why it's fun doing these shows live. Uh, we do have some slides available. Jeff, was there anything else you needed to add before we dive into the slides? No, I think we go right into the slides. Well, let me share my screen because this is what happens now, Megan, is we get to have the fun stuff. The, the, what I call the proof, right? The proof that we know what we're doing, the proof that you know what you're doing. So first off, again, thank you to Promo Corner for letting us um, take over their show. And while they're away doing amazing service work, we are at play. We are having tacos uh, live, somewhat live, kind of live, live for us, right? So it might as well be live. <laughs> I love the fact that it's a squeaky toy. That makes it a little more annoying and a lot I'm more going funny. nuts down here. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing we need to share is Megan's logo. Megan, this is cool. I have to say, my oldest daughter is all things equestrian, big time rancher, big time horse freak. In fact, I told her when she was young, I said, you know what, honey, you will be the happiest if you could just marry a rich rancher. Um, 
And, you know, she did. And shame on me for not qualifying the locale, the location, because turns out she married one who lives in Namibia, Africa. So she lives in Africa. But the thing is, that's cool, is that brands have been a part of our family heritage and history for a long time. And so when I think of branding, I think literal. And when I see your brand, I think of a literal brand, stamping, right? Yeah. Well, tell us about it. Well, so we, when we started out, it was Southern Apparel and Promotions, which was about 14 years ago. And um, gosh, I guess about 10 or so-ish years ago, maybe a little bit longer, Mm -hmm. we rebranded to Southern Branding, which had always been our our website to begin with. Um, And actually, the cool thing with this logo is my mom actually designed and created this logo for us. Um, and yeah, you're, you're right on. It's, it kind of looks like it's the S and the B, like a brand, um, like you're debossing something, branding something. Uh, and that, that's, that's how our logo was created. Um, our, in our, we're in Arkansas. And so Arkansas is, is red, you know, everything razor, everything razorbacks is red. So we went with red logo and, um, you know, my, my mom worked for, for a very, very long time doing different designs. And actually she worked for inner workings for a long time. Gotcha. Yeah. And so she came up with the logo and we, we love it. So it's well, personal. It, it is. And it's fun and it's, it's meaningful to you. Yes. And I love that when there are what I call origin stories where you, you can explain part of that it creates part of the culture and it creates part of the, why I want to do business with Megan, because of that locale and because of those meaningful uh, moments like your logo. It's not just something that, you know, some random designer put together, not that we make fun of random designers, but so very cool. Love that you, and and I can see that you do have an Arkansas hat behind you. So I don't know if you want to promote your team. You know, you guys had a great weekend as a a start to the season. It was so cool. Yeah. We actually had tickets to the game and had to sell them. We were, we were up there. So we're in Little Rock, Arkansas, and we also have a, a office in Fayetteville, which is where the university is. Okay. Um, so, but we didn't, we didn't to go live, but yeah, almost 80,000 in attendance, huge win for us. We were very excited. Well, good on them having yeah. fun and, and supporting your team and, and thinking about you know, thinking about that, our team, you know, our team, we have teams and we support teams and they're not always football teams. And sometimes they're our marketing team or sometimes they're somebody else's marketing team. And Megan, you and I both know from, from years of work that we become an extension of their team, right? And so yeah. I can't wait for us to talk further in these slides about how you got support from some suppliers who became part of your team. So maybe this is all about teamwork, who knew? That's just, I just made that up on the spot, live. Football team, we're just tying it all together. Brandon will be really proud of our work. You he know, will be. He will in be. In his I'm... absence. <laughs> yeah, well, he can't give us the hook, so we can do whatever we want. Yeah, that's right. There's no hook. There you go. Well, one of the things I like to do is to find some of the cool things that you're doing. So I'll snoop around the inner sites, the interwebs, the worldwide webby, and find things that your team, you and your staff are doing. And so I'll look at Facebook, I'll look at Instagram, sometimes LinkedIn, and obviously your webpage. And this is where I found this. And I just want to compliment you because I find that there are a lot of promotional product distributors and a lot of apparel decorators that fail to showcase the work themselves. Like when you're proud of a piece, you should showcase it in an appropriate way and and with a point, make a point. But Mm -hmm. this is great. It's inspiring me. I can tell you're proud of it or it wouldn't be on your website. Thank you. We like to do um, events and that that photo is actually taken at an open house that we event that we did. Um, that's probably been five or six years ago. Um, but that, that t-shirt design is just fun. And actually that specific design, we all, we had everybody on our team came up with different words, you know, that yes. we wanted to be known for that described us. And so that's how that design came, came about. But in the background of it, you can also see there's like a little drink thing going on. Let me go back to and it. I got your- a, let's look at it again. Little drink thing going on. What are you talking about? <laughs> Oh, over to the left, there's a little yeah. picture of something. Yeah. Yeah, so, I see that. Okay, so that's the Southern Sipper that we serve at all of our events. Oh. Yep. Southern and Sipper. So is Southern there something special Sipper. in that Southern Sipper? Southern Sipper? There's some Southern comfort in this in the Southern Sipper that Southern branding serves. Um, yeah, but we do them, we do them in these just little cups that there's nothing special about. 
um, except for it creates an experience and people remember it every single year at every mm. event that we do, whether it's yeah. a golf tournament or one of our own personal events or a charity, a charity thing that we're doing. We always serve this and people know us for it. And they're like, oh yeah, you guys are the ones that serve the awesome Southern <laughs> drink. And then I get emails. People will email me for the recipe. So oh, anyway, very cool. Get an experience and people remember it. That's powerful stuff, Jeff, yeah. right? Yeah, I want to touch on something um, here with, with a, oh, that's a scary thought, I know. Um, events, events are something that have eluded us for a year yeah. and a half. And, you know, wherever we go in the future, I mean, whatever it is, but I, I think it's really worth mentioning. And I want to ask you the question, because when we were very active with our distributor uh, community, we're active, you know, with our uh, business association in our area, and there were a lot of events, and we were always involved in them. We hosted events. Um, could you maybe just speak to all the, you know, our audience that's out there, you know, 12 plus Jay's mom, uh, I'm gonna 13. Well, I'm in Fort Worth. We might have found some stragglers here at the yeah, show. Yeah, we probably found some stragglers. But I think it's worth mentioning not only about the value of doing events and participating in events and whatever they are, but how you're taking and making it their your own through the swag and, and your your beverage there. I think it's that's worth mentioning. Well, yeah, I mean, we we like to be involved in the community as much as we can. And what, so whether that's, you know, we're doing our own kind of open house event or we're doing, um, you know, the holiday showcase event that we just got done with, or we're, we're partnering with one of the, the charities that we work with and we're doing something to support them. Um, you know, whenever we do it, it's not just about like, you know, you're at a trade show, whatever, and you're handing something out just to hand something uh, here's out. Here's my piece of swag. Yeah, yeah. Like make you have to like make it something that's an experience for people to to remember it. I mean, make it an experience and people people remember it. So okay. just, just simple. Go. Good stuff. And then it doesn't have to be like complicated. Like the swag piece right. doesn't have to be cut. Like we, it's a double wall solo cup. That's all this thing is that people go nuts for, but they remember it because of the whole experience that's created with it. Yeah, we're going to share that too. So I can't wait to show this. So here we have the, the first piece. Let's go to the next one so that folks can see what we were talking about. You've got over on the left side, you've got an example of the red solo cut. Perfect branding for you guys. I mean, you lucked out. Did wow. the, the solo expect a little, oh, no, I won't even go there. So, um, but I have to give you a huge compliment, Megan. I hope, I hope you don't mind. But when I first saw this, I think I saw it on Instagram first. I was like, Okay, that looks staged, but it doesn't, first of all. And then I'm like, did they seriously not realize how cool this was by having the reflection of the branding in that tin? Like everything about this made me happy. I was like, this is like professionally staged, but maybe it's not, but it's so cool, it doesn't matter. And then I saw that those were can wraps, can koozies, whatever you want to call them, coolers, koozies. I don't know if we can say brand names anymore. I kind of don't care, but those look so different and so cool. What's going on with those? What's the deal? Thank you. So um, that's not, it's actually, that's not a staged photo. That was just um, a photo of what was our swag table. And so we, when we do these at golf tournaments, that's actually, it's a bucket from, from VP brands. I'll shout them out. So visual promotions in Texas, and that's actually branded. So it has, that is our logo that you're seeing on it. It's just our icon. Gotcha. And then, yeah. And then the koozies, it's a suede koozie, which is one of our favorites. Um, from Numo with a pocket on the front, and then it's got the got the stitching on it with the um... with your logo, right? So that's cool. Uh oh, did we lose you? Uh, thank you. Oh, there you are. You're back. Okay. No worries. It, it, if every now and then we see a glitch, we're like Jeff and I are like, oh no, this is live. <laughs> <laughs> Except it's sort of kind of not. Sort of kind of not. But the sort of kind of cool thing was that Numo cooler, can wrap, coolie. What, what are you going to call them? Numo will correct us, but what do you call them, Megan? I mean, everybody calls them koozies. So we just go with koozies. Yeah. Kind of, it, 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 what did they say? Ubiquitous name. It's the, uh, the overarching Kleenex or, you know. Yeah. I mean, nobody outside of our industry realizes that that's a retail brand name versus, you know, so we, right. we just go with koozie. Well, I think, our, so there, you said they were suede in some ways. Is that yeah. just the texture's different? Yeah. It's like, yeah, it feels like suede. It looks like suede material. That's so cool. And the patch is epic. It looks just like it pops off. It was sewn on. It looks like it was added value. Anyway, fell in love with it. You know, little things are big things. Details matter. And I got to compliment you and your team. And don't think for a second that I didn't count out the number of squares behind those mints in the other bucket to make sure that you could actually fit the total number of characters 
in a perfect square and you can. It turns out, Jeff, you can. Southern branding will fit four by four. There you go. We were excited to find that out too. Yeah. <laughs> So tell us about the other slide I have over here, the holiday showcase. I know we're going to get into that a little deeper with more details, but yeah. a lot of folks like you have been preparing ahead of time. So I, I got to tip my cap that that's a smart move. Is that, is that something that, are you feeling the pressure of it or you just want to get ahead of it or what's Definitely. going on? Um, well, I mean, we all know about the inventory challenges, um, but not just inventory challenges, the production. So you've got, if you can get the inventory, then it's the production challenges. And then you've got the shipping challenges on top of that. So whereas normally, you know, we've done this event for about seven years um, and normally we do it the first week in October. So we moved it up a full five weeks and really would have done it earlier than that, except that in interferes with, you know, summer schedules and people going back to school and makes it gotcha. a little bit harder. Um, but it, it's, it's definitely, as we all know, a challenge this year. Mm -hmm. And so we do it to get ahead of it. We do, um, we send out about six weeks prior to our event, we send up a sign up genius email where people can go on and book their own appointment times. Okay. So the appointments are 30 minute time slots that are scheduled and they get to choose their own time. Um, so pre-booked appointment time. Uh, and then we run it for four full days. And then on the fifth day, it's just kind of meant for overflow. Um, anybody who had to reschedule or needs to come back that sort of thing. Very so it cool. ends up being um, 48 appointments, 48 oh. appointments. Oh my God. I love that approach though. I like the individual, you know, personalized, you get your own time, you get your own attention. That's really cool. I know it means more work for you guys, but I could tell you if I were a buyer, I would appreciate that. Well, thanks. Yeah. A lot of work does go into it because we bring in um, a lot of samples. So we have a, a lot of supplier support on it. Um, and then we have to, you know, we go in and we label everything to make it easier for ourselves on the back end so that when you're going through and you're doing your meetings, you know, everything has an item number, everything has the first column, the last column pricing, um, you know, you have all the information right there. So you're just like, oh, that person touched this and they like it, jot it down. It makes it easier to send out a, a presentation quickly on the back end. So the first week is meetings and then the second week is doing all the, the back end presentation work and then now we're into all the follow up. Very cool. I have to also compliment you on your graphics. I'm not sure if that's you, someone on your team or you're outsourcing, it doesn't really matter to me too much, but the ideas and the way it looks and the way you've showcased it, it's again, on point, on brand, in your colors, looks epic, it looks fabulous. Yeah. So good on you. Appreciate that. Yeah, good stuff. Jeff, what do you think? Well, what I love is <clears throat> this idea of the, the personal connections that are being made. And again, I always sort of bring it around to, you know, what any distributor who's watching this, you know, can get from it. Obviously, it would appear you have a pretty solid book of business because, you know, you've built this brand over a, a number of years. But I think any company at any given size can offer something similar. And I think, to tell me if I'm wrong here, doesn't it make uh, people feel special that, you know, they have that one-on-one -on -one time with you, you know, it's not like you, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm with Megan and the Southern Bank, but I think there's a, a charm to it that people may miss out by just doing a table and just kind of letting people go. I mean, whatever the size of the event or, you know, situation is, but I think that that's really special. Absolutely. And, you know, we also use it as a prospecting tool. So we invite people that we're wanting to get in with, you know, to come in for the one-on-one -on -one attention That's also. Um, but it's, it's just, we're this year more than anything, it's a way to get more awareness out there of, you know, it, it is going to be an issue. If you're not placing your orders now, then you're, you're probably not going to be getting what you want. And, you know, we ask people for your first, second, and third choice. So, okay, let's, we're going through, we're looking at all this in your ideal world. What are your first three yeah, options? Smart. Um, get ahead of it. Where we're at, right? Right. Yeah. Get ahead of it. And maybe some of those options are made in the USA and maybe they're local because that way you have a little bit more control. Um, not always, but in some cases, I, I think yeah. it's yeah. so smart. And you know what made me think too, uh, if you don't mind me building off your idea, if, if you weren't in a position to have 48 meetings in a week, maybe you could only have, you know, four in a mm -hmm. day. But, and you don't even have a showroom. You could easily set something up at like a, a WeWork space or oh, totally. some yes. other cool event hosting. Like I'm, I'm literally at the Fort Worth Community Arts Center. And while they were having lunch, I got to wander through 
this amazing studio. I, I, I asked if I could go in there and film in there. And they're like, no, we prefer if you know. And I was like, oh, that's polite for no. Get out of here, bozo. Um, yeah. But having it offsite somewhere fun, or if you don't have a showroom, you know, find, find a way to do that. Find, your, find this idea that Megan just shared and figure out right. your version of it. I, I, I'm so glad you shared that, Megan. Yeah, thank you. Smart, Jeff. I told you. I told you. No, I wanted to take credit for it, we but I can't. We're all over Megan. Jeff, Jeff. Well, this is a dynamic duo, right? We had we had Christina, right? Yes. And yes. and you two have this cool podcast. Is it a podcast or a video show? We don't know. I mean, it's it's a video, I guess. Well, guess um, who guess who I ran into in, in Fort Worth? Did you run into Christina? Yes, yes. Awesome. It was so fun. I was excited that she's kind of diving in a little bit more into the apparel yes. side as well. So it was like yeah. Welcome to our crazy world of, of misfit toys and so glad that you found us. Um, but you two are doing great work together. I think that's really cool. Tell us more. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so for me, you know, we, well, first of all, the, the backstory with it is, is we, our business, Southern Brainy, we have an office space, we have a showroom. Um, and when people come in to visit with us, like we give them this experience, like they're probably like, we might have a cocktail, we were talking about our dogs. Like we're, we usually have our dog here. Like people get this whole experience of, of Southern branding and then the pandemic happened. Right. And um, people weren't coming in anymore. And we didn't really have a large social media presence because most of our, um, most of our business was based off of referral and these meetings and, and then that wasn't happening. So we had to quickly figure out like, okay, we, we need to be doing better and we need to educate ourselves and, you know, to do more. Um, and so I really kind of dove deep a little, um, yeah, you know semi deep end right, Wait, right. jump into the yeah. deep end and learn how to swim into that oh, world no. yeah and I've never been I'm not a on-camera kind of person and I'm not a hard sell kind of person at all thank so, goodness you're right. not which is why you're successful that, that was so it was uncomfortable for for me though um but I kind of had this thought and I was really learning a lot and reaching out and making connections and um oh. watching shows like yours um, because there's so there all of a sudden was all of this content that was available. Mm -hmm. um, but I also I wasn't seeing a lot that was, you know, maybe two women talking about it and more like towards the um, towards the client perspective. Love so, it. you know, I met Christina through we're both part of AIA and um, met her through there and thought, man, she's like badass and amazing. And I want to get to know her better. <laughs> and let's, let's figure out how we can work together. So that's kind of how that. I love that. So let me recap on that one, Jeff. They're both affiliated with AIA. We got lots of winners from AIA. You recognized in Christina some strengths that maybe you didn't have, and I'm sure she has in you. And you two have pulled together something which is really cool, which is two women and your voices rather than two dudes. And then you're also looking at it from the perspective of buyers and talking about trends. And what else are, what else are you talking about, if you don't mind me asking? Yeah, I mean, we've done a couple of shows that are more personal, um, that are just based off of like burnout that we're all feeling mm -hmm. um, and experiencing and how to handle that and how to like just be a little maybe kinder and gentler with ourselves, how to take care of ourselves better. Um, and we try to do, you know, each week something different that's going to be educational for, you know, some type of content relevant for for who our buyers are. I don't know that we actually have any buyers watching it, um, but that's okay. Like we're putting content out there. You so, will, you will. Yeah. And the other I, thing too, is it gives you some evidence that you, you, yeah. you're actually on stage. You know what we're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Jeff, what were you going to say? I wanted to make a joke, first of all, because uh -oh. we were talking about the two women. I'm going to go, hey, and we have Jay and Jeff, these two guys. But I'm not making that joke to really put a spotlight on the idea of you guys sharing some personal, authentic, honest content get away from the you know we're we're showcasing product and branding i mean people know what you do but um this is something jay and i talk about right now i mean in our industry uh and in the world really we just need authentic content we don't need you know buy this buy that you yeah. know this widget and and so we are continually you know focusing on putting the spotlight on people like you that are doing it in all different ways it just every time we do these shows um and here again, I, I just feel um, honored and, and, you know, seriously a little choked up that, oh my gosh, look, here's Megan that isn't like, 
oh, like you're not a, a PPA expo speaker or you're, you're not this, you know, way up here, but you're down here doing your thing, successful doing your thing, doing good stuff in your community. And now having the impact through our show to encourage other people to do stuff that might be a little out of the box that they might not have thought about. So I, you know, my hat's off to you and um, I'll get a hat one day. Yeah, really you don't have to have a hat. But Thank you. It, so anyway, I, I, I stopped there. That's so good. You made a great point, Jeff. And we are we are glad that you're here. And we have a couple of more slides. This was this was fun because I could tell you guys were like, yes, we did yeah. it. <laughs> How many of your little drinks have you had there? You know, whatever you call it. What do you call that drink? A southern oh, what? That su southern sipper. Southern, oh, southern sipper. sipper. Yeah, you, you, drink. Sip it, you sip it all day. It's day drinking at its best, right? Yeah, day drinking, drinking there at you its go. best. And, and you open at nine or what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> When we're on the when we're if we're doing a whole sponsorship and at a golf tournament, you know, we we say it's a breakfast cocktail because it has you know some juices and things. Yeah, in it's it. like a mimosa just with some comfort. Right. A little yeah. treat. It's, it's going to help you have a great show. That's what it's going to do. <laughs> Super cool that you guys did that. So this is your team right here. I, I'm yeah, guessing, right? Okay. Yeah. And and so tell me if you don't mind if you, you couldn't have pulled this off with just the five of you. Maybe you could have, but you you said earlier that you had some support from some suppliers. Yeah. So what did so that look like? So supplier support is everything. Um, it, it So I went to Chicago. Um, we did ASI so Chicago. And for me, Chicago was talking to suppliers about this event to figure out, you know, what samples we need to be bringing in, um, what inventory, who has good inventory or is going to have good inventory, mm -hmm. uh, who has deep inventory. And then also, you know, if something, if my client hasn't seen something, then it is new to them. So it doesn't necessarily have to be what's the newest, the latest and greatest. It can be, how have I not presented this to my client? Oh, that's so smart. Thank you for bringing that out. Thank you for sharing that. I love that. It might still be new to my client, even if it is a koozie, they maybe have never done oh. it. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Um, so we had we had a lot of supplier support um, on that slide. Like the the route behind it was all Storm Creek, um, who sent us samples. You know we and then you know all of the the Broders to Sanmar they they sent us samples and always are very supportive. Um, but a Maple Ridge Farms is amazing. Um, Chocolate Inn is amazing. You know all of the the foods like that. Um, HPG brands just yeah. incredible yeah. with everything that they send us to showcase. Um, all of the the org, the handstands, the batch and bodega, the beacon, all of it. Um, and I I almost feel bad naming suppliers because oh. there were at least thirty that sent us samples, um, and there's no way I could say them all. No. But it, just incredible to show Peerless. Peerless sent us samples. Um, you know the ETS, the leads, leads. PCNA was was awesome with the Trimark samples and um, all of the others. The electronics this year, like tech, was huge. Blankets are huge. Right. So, right. yeah. So we had we had incredible supplier support that are are willing to like bet on us that hey, we're going to showcase your product and we're going to actually sell some of it. Um. So yeah, if we, yeah. If we didn't have supplier support, we wouldn't be able to do it. There's no way we can afford to do it you know, there you go. That's true. And they do bet on you and they are willing to support you because I think, you know, Jeff, we've talked about this several times about the importance of the, of the partnership and the, the working together and working together better um, mm -hmm. and focusing on quality as opposed to quantity. And it's been some hard lessons these last 18 months. Let's not, let's not kid ourselves, but I've seen so many more suppliers and distributors, especially like your distributorship, your business, Megan, but where you realize, okay, we need each other. We're not going to make it if we don't, you know, do a better job communicating, do a better job of working together and support. So, so glad that you brought that up and mentioned a few. I know how you feel. I, I'm sorry, we don't have a list of all 35, but you gave some great shout outs. So thank you for sharing yeah. those. I'm sure yeah. Jeff was down there writing them because he likes to give a little highlight. Well, I started to try to write them and, you know, we'll... <laughs> Because we won't have the time to go back and, you know, maybe it's, you know, is it a trade show? We'll, oh. we'll do our best to include them. Vita, base camp. Oh, my gosh. Base camp sample. Oh, our friends. Oh, are, don't yeah. get us started. It's Sweda yeah. and base camp. Of course, we got started one of a couple of our first shows, Megan, if you don't know this, we had we had both uh, Dan Nevins and we had Kelly Claudio on from Sandmar. Oh. And we were we weren't just telling Dan's story. We, we did, but we were trying to kind of position it in a you know, a different light. And they were so gracious. It was so much fun to hear that cause again, and to remind ourselves of epic product that has a, 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 
a, a specific and pointed ulterior motive that we can all get behind. Totally. Yeah. So yeah. Thank you for bringing them up too. Yes. All right. Well, we're at the end of the show. I can't believe it. So let me show, I've got one more slide and, Thanks. and I know, right. It goes by fast, yeah. but we can't, we can't leave without you talking about this because oh, okay. this was something that you sent to me and is on, on it's uh, you, Jeff, you're going to get yours any day now. I know yep. it. Mm -hmm. um, really cool piece. Very meaningful to me. I was grateful to get it, but I have to believe that it meant something to you because you created this yourself, right? This wasn't like mm -hmm. something that's a stock item. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the story behind this piece is um, I was, you know, just struggling mentally with the, the grind and the stress um, during a period of time in the past past year, 18 months, um, mm -hmm. as so many of us have been. And I was I was having such a hard time in work related. And I wrote myself a note, like a post-it note, and I stuck it on my my computer monitor. And it says something like, look for the good, find good, do good, be the good, some, something like that. Um, and, you know, that was just like a daily check-in for me. Um, and I saw, I saw Dinnick, who is the, the supplier in Chicago and loved their cause with building schools. And thought, I've got, I want to do something, I but I need to figure out what I want to do with them and just came up, came up with that. So that quote is actually, it's a Gandhi quote. Mm -hmm. Um, what I love about it too is is on the inside of the journal it it tells a little bit of story of of Southern branding and who we are and that you know we think that promotional product for more than just a promotional like this is more than just a journal it kind of tells the story of who we are um, and so that's what we want to do that's what that's the kind of you know branding that we want to do with people so on the inside every single page has a statement that's like a B statement so be be kind be courteous, be gracious, be, you know, badass, like whatever it is, 154 B statements are inside this journal. Very cool. So it was kind of a personal one for me. Yeah. Uh, so the supplier again is? Denick. Nice. 